Hello friends. Happy new moon in Scorpio. Four days before Halloween. It's cold, but I found the one sunny spot near water I could find. And isn't it gorgeous? I'll show you what I'm looking at. So I wanted to offer a little meditation for this occasion and it'll probably be short and simple. Um, and I don't have a lot of reasoning behind it, not that there needs to be reason, but I, I really like to just feel energy rather than reading about the astrology or um, the moon cycle or the season. I like to just feel it. And so in my feeling, I'm gonna share with you a meditation practice that came through last night. Might be a little different than the way I experienced it, but this is the way that it's coming through for you. So trust that if you're watching this, this is for you you're ready for it and that there's something here for you to receive and enjoy. So start by getting comfortable. You might like to sit or lie down or stand just following your intuition and how your body wants to be right now. And take a few moments to get yourself settled in so if you're standing, really feeling your feet in contact with the earth, feeling the length of your spine. If you're sitting, feeling your hips anchoring down into your seat. If you're lying down, allowing your whole body to soften down into your bed or the floor. And as you adjust and settle in, See if it feels better to close your eyes or to fix your gaze somewhere in your environment. And wherever your gaze settles, if you keep your eyes open, allow your vision to just sort of soften so you're not staring intently at something, but you're just kind of seeing. You're just seeing. If your eyes are closed, allow your eyes to sink deeply back into their sockets. And whether your eyes are open or closed, soften all the little muscles around your eyes. It might feel good to take a breath to encourage that softening. And to also soften the space between your eyebrows. Soften your temples. Your jaw. Soften your throat. And allow your shoulders to gently sink away from your ears. And if there's any part of you that's feeling really tense, active, doesn't quite want to let go, then give that part of your body a tight squeeze as you take a breath in, really, really tight. And then as you breathe out, let out a nice loud sigh and let it go. If you're feeling quite active in general right now, you can do that with your entire body. And as you feel your body rooting down into the earth, you can imagine that you're growing deep roots down through the dark soil, down and down and down, like
like the root, the tap root of a tall, strong, ancient tree. Maybe that strong tap root goes all the way down to the center of the earth with roots grappling around the Earth's crystalline center. And feel that from this rooting down, you feel so anchored, grounded, clear and open. So in your body, And as you feel yourself here in your body, begin to open your ears, noticing the sounds that are already effortlessly flowing in. Just keeping your ears soft, listening easily, noticing what you can hear. There are sounds from this video, my voice, the river, cars, and there are sounds in your space. You might hear your breathing, your digestion, sounds from around you. And in the same way, that when you're listening to your favorite song, your awareness will shift just to the guitar for a moment, just to the drums for a moment, but your awareness always comes back to hearing the full song together and how all of the little sounds blend and orchestrate together. So as you listen, see if you can keep coming back to hearing all of the sounds creating a symphony. Not labeling any sounds as good or bad, as I like that, I don't like that. Just hearing. As you listen, bring your focus into your breathing. And maybe it feels good to change your breath in some way. Maybe taking a few deep breaths before finding your natural rhythm again. Maybe doing a breathing technique that you like. Or maybe not changing anything. And just noticing your rhythm that's already here. Maybe you place your hands on your body to feel the parts of you that move with your breath. And just noticing your own natural rhythm, your innate ebb and flow, trusting that it's perfect for you right now. And as you deepen into your breathing, softening into that rhythm that carries you through moments, from moment to moment, begin to place your hands on your body, starting wherever it feels right. So maybe you're mirroring me and placing your hand over your heart or maybe it feels good to rest your hands on your belly, on your legs, or to touch your face. But feel that part of your body underneath your hands. And you can imagine 
as you feel the warmth and the coolness from your hands, that you are sending love and gratitude to the part of your body that you're touching. So as you touch each part, and we'll go through the whole body, simply take a breath and send the message to that part that you're touching. Thank you. I love you. And maybe you stay in one spot for a few breaths, taking some time to just feel that love and feel that gratitude, sending all of the goodness to yourself that you like. Or maybe it feels good to keep moving and keep some energy flowing in a faster way. So you just take one breath. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. And keep moving. And whenever a body part feels complete, move on to the next spot. So take yourself through your whole body. We'll have a couple of minutes and I'll go through this process with you um, in silence so that you can have your own process as well. And then we'll come back together in a little bit and we'll go into the body a little more. So right now, just going wherever in your body feels right, making sure that you're moving down the length of your body, feeling welcome to spend as much time in each spot as you like. just take a moment to check in with your process and make sure that you're giving yourself all the time you like that you don't feel rushed but that you're giving yourself the time and space to really soften into gratitude and soften into love for yourself So maybe that process feels complete for you, or maybe you continue on beginning to couple your awareness through your own process and through the spaces that I'm guiding you through as well, knowing that you can hold both at the same time. So because we're in this new moon of Scorpio, Scorpio rules the genitals. And I think that when we do body scans, when we do yoga nidra, when we do these body focused practices, we, can, we tend to skip the genitals. And I, I don't even like that word. It sounds so, mm, 
not sacred. <laughs> but that's exactly what they are. So take a moment. Maybe you want to place your hand between your legs. Taking a moment to breathe in through your yoni, in through your lingam, and focusing on the external expression of this part of your body. Loving, thinking, and feeling. Is there anything for me to know or understand about this part of me? The power and energy it holds. Thank you. I love you. Maybe you imagine as you sit with your awareness in this part of your body, imagine all of the layers, all of the different parts of the skin and the, the folds and the pores, noticing the landscape of this part of you and how exquisite it is. It is as beautifully created as your heart, as your mind, as your spirit. I'm seeing the cutest baby animal right now. If it's a deer, it is the tiniest little deer I've ever seen. Oh yeah, there's mama. <laughs> the deer is my primary spirit animal, my primary totem. You see me. So now bring your awareness inside your body. If you're a man or if you have masculine genitals, bringing your focus inside, traveling through your vas deferens, into your testes, your bladder, everything that you hold inside of your body in this, this reservoir of life force that you hold within you. And if you have feminine genitals, tracing your awareness up your vagina, through your cervix, into your womb, taking a moment to hold yourself inside of your own womb. Remembering how it felt when you were in your mother's womb. That deep sense of safety, feeling completely nourished, completely cared for, not wanting or needing anything and giving some love to this part of you man or woman where your life force pulses and thrives I love you thank you Taking a deep breath here. And shifting your awareness to your fascia. That silvery, thin, slippery layer of tissue, that membrane that coats all of your muscles, that lives underneath your skin, that's wrapped around and within all of your organs, creating this web, this matrix within you. Sensing into that part of you that is slippery and thin and wise and receptive. Thank you. I love you. Bringing awareness into your organs. 
from the base of your pelvis, the organs inside of your pelvis, all the way up through your core, your chest, your throat, into the organs inside of your head. Thank you. I love you, organs. Shifting your awareness into your bones. Feeling your skeleton all the way, head to toe, deep inside of your body. Thank you. I love you. Shifting your awareness to the very, very center of your bones, into your marrow. Can you feel that richness, the life inside of your bones? Thank you. I love you. Bringing love into your breath. Gratitude into your breath. Thank you. I love you. Into your heart. Thank you. I love you. Thanking your gratitude center, thanking your love center, loving your love. Can you connect with your entire nervous system? including your aura, your energy body. Thank you. I love you. And can you feel your energy and your nervous system receiving that? How does it feel to receive that? Now weave together all parts of your body into one whole. Weaving together your body, breath, heart, soul, light, energy, feeling yourself together and complete as one whole. And then can you feel yourself weaving just as easily into your environment? And if you're inside, connecting with the environment outside of you, can you feel yourself weaving into the sky, weaving into the grass and the soil? Weaving into the entire earth. Feeling yourself and the earth together as one whole. And then can you feel that whole connected like that matrix web of fascia, connected with every single part of the universe. Feeling yourself as one conscious point in the universe and then sending out to yourself and the universe that same message. Thank you. I love you. And can you feel the reciprocity rippling away and towards you at the same time? Speaking it, intending it, sending the message and receiving the message in the same moment, in the same breath. We'll have a few moments of silence to just be in that and feel that.
We'll close our practice now. You might like to begin your return to wakefulness by simply taking a few slow breaths. It might feel correct to start to bring some movement into your body. Maybe gently rubbing your fingers together. Maybe taking a breath in, lifting and spreading all of your toes and then exhaling gently, floating them back down to the earth. Maybe it feels good to reach up, up through your fingertips, down through your toes, taking a full body stretch, breathing in deep, <sighs> breathing out, softening down. <sighs> and when you're ready, open your eyes. If your eyes have been open, let your eyes, let your sight come back into focus. Maybe looking down at this beautiful, loved, thanked body of yours. Looking around at everything around you that you are so intimately connected with. <sighs> and closing your practice in the way that feels right for you. Maybe that's a namaste, a bow. Maybe it's an om. Maybe it's hands to heart feeling yourself, taking that close for yourself now. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for taking this time for yourself. As we are in the time of Scorpio now, we often become aware of a lot of our shadow and when we are doing shadow work, we have to couple it with a, an ever-deepening self-love. So as you explore parts of yourself that maybe haven't been so loved before, see just how much love and gratitude and compassion you can bring because you deserve every drop of it. And it's coming from you and it's coming from the entire universe in the same moment, in the same breath. And I really encourage you to take this practice out into your life, especially in moments where maybe there's a disconnection in a conversation or there's a, an unease in experience. Can you recognize what's occurring outside of you is also occurring within you and vice versa? Something to chew on and explore. I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day.